Carry it with you. You're a D-Lab. Been in the shop all day kicking out projects. The next one on the bench, a National NC88 receiver. I bought this receiver rather cheap because the owner said, well, there's smoke coming out of it. It doesn't work. So let's see what caused the smoke. Should be a good one. Here we go. So I pulled the bottom panel and I found what I expected to find. A really lovely repair job. Somebody obviously figured out they had a bad filter cap. So they decided to hang all these Christmas tree ornaments here. And what's been going on, as you can see, it's been arc welding all over the chassis. Nice black spots. This is exactly what I covered in one of my previous NC88 restoration videos on what you don't want to do. All right, so what we call this in the electronics repair world is cobbling, okay? Don't take the time to do it right. Just cobble in something, get it working, kick it down the road, and get that money in your pocket. That's what it's all about. And, oh, who's this guy? This guy looks like the King Cobbler. Hey, were you the guy that did this work to this thing? Did you butcher it? Well, what the heck are you talking about? What's wrong with this repair? Well, look at it, man. You got stuff hanging in here. You can short out. Well, there ain't nothing wrong with that. You can put a little Mighty Putty in there. Just put some Mighty Putty under that. Well, I, I, know, I know. How about a little duct tape? I use duct tape for everything. And you know what? Instead of terminal board, why don't you just use some paper clips? Well, that's a great idea, King Cobbler. How about you hit the road, and I'm going to straighten out your mess. Well, I see how you are, Mr. D-Lab. That's right, man. Get out of here. Well, now you know what a cobbler is, right? So, when you run into this situation, the best thing that you can use are these. Some wire cutters, okay? And you go in there and you say, hey, we're going to uncobble the cobbler's mess, all right? And get all this out of here. Look at there. That wasn't even soldered. We take it out. We're going to do it right. And what's the right thing to do? We're going to put a new filter cap. Maybe add a terminal board if I have to. Make a nice, secure repair. So, what I have is this new multi-section cap that I custom make. If you watch one of my other videos, you'll see how I did it on restoration of an NC-88. So next step, we'll get her in. I'll show you what it looks like. Top side, there's a new filter cap. Let's take a look at the bottom. Bottom side, there she is. Ready to wire, nice and clean. A fresh new start for the NC-88. So the purpose of this video was not to show you how to fix this receiver. The purpose was to show you not to cobble up your repairs. Do it right. Take your time. Do something you're proud of. Don't be like this guy, King Cobbler. That dude's bad news. What the heck are you talking about, D-Lab? Everything I do is top notch. It's it's king, it's cream of the crop, or maybe cream corn. I don't know. I think I made a corn. What do you think? Don't be that guy. <laughs>